Hey friends, this is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Welcome. Thanks so much for stopping on by. I really appreciate it. Let me get my cord out of here so we can have a little bit more room in my messy, messy, messy area. You know how much I love playing. Uh, and I thought that I would do a little bit today with you. Okay, so I have a sketch that I want to try. That's not it. Uh oh, I think I lost it. Oh well, I'll have to figure out figure it out and recreate it, huh? So I'm starting with a uh, layer of pool party that is four and three quarters by six and three quarters, and then look at this really cool embossing folder. Has all of the birthday, um, you know, happy birthdays in different languages. So I cut that at oh, I wrote this down. Uh, two and a half by four and a quarter. I'm sorry, this is, yeah, two and a half by four and a quarter. And then I took some of this new host DSP. Isn't that beautiful? And I thought that was fun, right? I mean, that's kind of pinwheely and happy. And I thought that would be a great um, accent. So... We'll put that right there. I think we're gonna have to, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to, because I want that happy birthday sticking out. Now, what I did was I wet this and ran it through with a shim to get the really good impression. Went the happy birthday out there, and then I thought we'll add this circle, and we'll put all the little um, candles here. Now they just need their flames. And I put five candles. I thought that was a good number. And what do you think? Happy? Exciting? No? Yes? All right. Uh, so this is four, uh, two and a half by two by six. Two by six is this DSP. So let's start adhering this. And this is going to have to go on the bottom because I really want that happy birthday to shine through here. So we'll just center that right here about half of an inch from the side. And we will add some seal on this side and make sure this stays down. The colors in this DSP are Blackberry Bliss, Petal Pink, Daffodil Delight, uh, this right here is Pool Party, and uh, Old Olive. All right, let's add our little flames, and I do have some of these. Now, this is in the set Charming Sentiments, the Charming Sentiment Bundle. Um, Sentiment Silhouette Dies is what the dies are on page 161. These have all these really cool sets, and you just take the top piece and the bottom piece, and I used um, a dot runner and just added those on like that. So easy peasy. Uh, it also has some outlines of hearts and stars and I did those in lots of different colors. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but since I already had to, um, you know, punch all these little things out, I thought it might be fun just to add some extras to it. I did have to do the flame. Unfortunately, there is only one flame, uh, so it gets a little tedious running through all of those colors, but you know, it is what it is. We have lots of dyes in there, so it works out perfectly. Let's just grab all of the flames here. And they are adorable. Whoops. All right. There we go. We can set them over here. So I think just, um, I think regular just, well, I mean, we could do glue dots. But what if we just use some Tombow right at the edge? And then I think that should be good if my Tombow works. I did buy some more because, you know, me and Tombow, we go through a lot of it at this house. So just a dot on all of these little colors. Oh, I do not want to do it on this. I want to do it on 
my sheet here, um, my silicone sheet, and we'll just get our flames up like that. Cute, right? Add a little bit here. Find a flame. Woo! I can't get it. All right. We might have to take your pick tool. We have to use the take your pick tool. I think we will because these are little guys. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. That's okay if this is yellow on yellow. It's no big deal. Hey, bud. All right. And a few more. Oh, everyone's coming to visit us today. Little dots. And then the flames will be all good. There we go. Almost got too much on there. Just need a little dot so it doesn't stay sticky. And let's see if we have any more flames. Yeah, here's one. Okay. Pick your pick tool really is extra helpful. It's just that I forget to use it sometimes. There we go. And then one more. Excellent. All right, aren't those adorable? Now, I just want to straighten out this flame a little bit. There we go. All right, let's then, ooh, let's add some with dimensionals, and I think the babies will work for this. Let's add all of them with dimensionals. Heck, might as well, right? So we'll just, ooh, these fit just perfectly on here. Hopefully one on the, nope, not going to work for the flame. That's okay. I think that uh, we might be able to cut them in two and use it on the flame. So I'm just going to put two on and then I will cut some um, babies for the flame. And I think two will be good for each one. And I want five. One, two, three, four, five. That's perfect. I love these babies. So helpful. And it's not too bad that you have to cut them in half. They could be smaller. So, there we go. We just need a little bit of foam back there, right? Sorry about that, friends. Now I don't even know where I was at. Uh, I'll be down in Mississippi, helping my daughter get ready for about a week. But I still love to read your comments, so I'd really appreciate it if you would comment. And again, I would love it if you um, subscribed as well. That's so helpful. And um, you know, that helps my channel and helps me know that you're interested and writing a comment, giving me a thumbs up. All those are positive things that you can help me out and I really appreciate it. Uh-oh. One more. Where are we going to put it? One, two, three, four. Oh, we did not set these out very well, guys. Yes, I'm blaming you. I guess don't push down or I mean if you were wise you could set these out before you um, took off the back but where would the spontaneity in that be spot spontaneity spontaneity <laughs> Sp never mind you know what I'm trying to say but I don't want these too perfect either you know what I mean I just want them to be kind of all over the place I do want them to fit. All right, so here we go. Last one. And we have all the little stickers off of this guy. All the. And we'll put them down here. There we go. What do you think? Yes? Do you like it? 
and then we'll pop that up. That's going to be a problem for me, but I have an idea. We'll put our sentiment there. Does that work for everyone? <laughs> or we could put a little, no, I don't think I want my, maybe, maybe I'll put my little adhesive dot. What do I want to say? Um, my rhinestone there or whatever, my embellishment. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That's adorable. All right, so what do we want the back to be? Do we want it to be just white? White's kind of boring, but we'll see. Now, they do have a really great sediment that's just woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. All right, that makes, that reminds me of a funny story. Um, at our uh, last, what do I want to say, meeting or whatever, um, we were doing a prize patrol and my very good friend and upline Lori wanted me to start singing the prize patrol song and I don't remember the prize patrol song as you know what I'm saying but she started doing um like the weird <laughs> like almost I don't want to say um twilight zone but something so far not <laughs> um uh, so far not the Price Patrol song that I was just really, I mean, I was laughing at her really hard. So, sorry, Lori, but that was hilarious. We had a really good time. What do you think? Yes? No? Well, maybe we'll wait for those. Maybe next time, right? I did uh, cut them out, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, let's use some Winkasella before I forget. Hopefully this is the new one. We'll see. Whoa. No. Oh, oh yes, yes it is. <laughs> well, I'll have to see if I can get that back in there. That one's gonna be really shimmery right there. Oh goodness, don't squeeze too hard on your Winkastella. So let's see if I go here and then pick it up. No, no, that's not working. I think I'm just getting more out. <laughs> oh, I hate wasting all that shimmer. All right, here it goes. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that? We can sell it all over the place. All right, no more for Amanda. All right, let's see if we could just spread this out a little bit more. There we go. Ooh, no more. I don't know. No more. Oh, my heavens. There's a lot on this. All right. Now, I guess we could do yellow. What do you think? Oh, we got to do the woohoo. Woohoo, woohoo. Yeah, that's what the song is. All right, those are la layers, layering circle dies. That's not what we want. I just had them out because I was playing with them. Cheek dies. Woo, look at that. Nope, we, nope, nope, nope. All right, over here. Let's cut out this woohoo. Woohoo, woohoo. All right, Lori, I'm going to um, make fun of you for the rest of my life for that song. What was that that you started singing? I'd love it if you told me, um, told everyone in the, uh-oh, uh there's not a woohoo here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Birthdays are woohoos, right? All right, let's just find it now that I. Oh, here we go. All right, and then we'll find here. What are we thinking? This one. This one looks like to be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's uh, cut that out. And I'm loving the Blackberry Bliss, so I think I'm just gonna do it in Blackberry Bliss, right? That's okay if there's lots of Blackberry Bliss. All right, let's add this and just a quick little block. We'll use our stamping piercing mat. Grab our Blackberry Bliss out. How do you guys um, organize, that's the word, your stamp colors? For me, I put them in rainbow order uh, and I do dark to light. So it starts out with my reds and then pinks 
and it goes from there all the way down to my neutrals and then yeah my neutrals are last I have to tell you that it's funny because for my um, hmm my warm colors I do dark to light but for my uh, cool colors I found that I was doing light to dark it just you know what I mean they just switched and so I had to actually change them because I thought that you know that's silly to have them that way but I really do think of my cool colors going from light to dark and my warm colors from dark to light. I hope that makes sense. Oh, so I lent my little embossing machine to myself in Phoenix. And then I have another one that I lent to another friend. So I don't have any stamped embossed machines at my house. That's not true. I do have one that's in the box. Um, for a giveaway, but yeah, I mean, I really don't want to use that one. All right, let's use the trick because we did not cut that out perfectly. All right. We will just put it where we want it and stick that down like that and then fit it in there like a puzzle piece. And that should go right through and cut it out exactly where we want it. And then we will keep this little woohoo negative so that we can have a perfect cut. Uh, now I don't know which one's better. They both kind of look the same. Now this one's a little bit better. Didn't do a very good job of lining it up either. I was chit-chatting with you guys. All right, let's add this on here, right here, so that, you know. All right, uh, dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. Maybe we will put this on here. Just need a little bit cover up this boo-boo that we had because someone didn't measure properly. And we need a little bit on the other side, just the tiniest bit. And then we'll do a great saying on the inside. We have two to choose from on this set. We have many to choose from in our catalog. Let's stick you back there, mister. Whoops, too far over. There we go. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Is that the Price Patrol song? All right, we did find it eventually. All right, let's see if white is the best color. It doesn't look too bad with white, does it? Now let's add our background and then we will add a um, sentiment on the inside and our very fun birthday card will be done. So we're just going to cut this seven, at seven by ten, put our scraps in our scrap drawer so they're not all over the place, and score this at five with our scoring blade. Just line it up, push it a few times, which you don't need, but I always seem to do it. Stick this to the side. All right, I believe that mint macaroon, mint macaron, mint macaroon, mint macaroon is also one of the colors for this really cute DSP. It's just not in this um, particular pa paper page. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying not to get the wink of Stella all over, and I've come to the end of my seal. Thank goodness I bought some extras. There we go. Oh yes, this is super cute. 
love the embossing on that. Hope you guys can see it. Yeah, there. All right. Love that. All right. Let's add a beautiful thing. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And here we go. Take our woohoo and put it back in. Yes, maybe we should actually put it where it belongs, right? All right, we'll just take a few seconds and line this up. Hopefully, it won't be too noticeable that it is not exactly straight. Let's use Blackberry Bliss again. It's a beautiful color. Love that everything is matchy-matchy. Oh, no. Now, that is not pretty. I think what I will do to cover up my mess here, unless I can take an adhesive eraser or... Yes, where is my sand eraser? I'll take my sand eraser and get it off in a little bit. That's just on the top, so it should work. And, ooh, where did I put my adhesive eraser? It might be in Phoenix, but we'll work it out. And we will call this one done. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you bought this set, if it's on your list. Um, what your favorite stamp set is and um, if you're excited for the new catalog which is coming up in two months can you believe that all right friends I had a wonderful time thank you for spending it with me if you would uh, give me a thumbs up ooh, and uh, like and subscribe yeah like is a thumbs up uh, subscribe and give me a comment that would really help my channel and I would certainly appreciate it. All right, friends, have a good one. See you next time.